All right, I just arrived in Talaga Harbour. It was just about um, five nautical miles on the chart, but it takes about an hour to cover it coming in and out of the marina. And um, all I really did, this whole trip I motored, I didn't do anything really that would really be considered physical. I didn't put up sails or take down sails. I just had to change the fenders and the, and the lines twice because um, when I called up for my reservation yesterday, they said prepare fenders on starboard side, which I did. So I changed them from port to starboard, leaving Rabak. And then right in the middle of the entrance here, they told me that they've reassigned me a different berth and the fenders are now on the port side. So I had to change them back over again while trying to basically cut into this narrow channel here at Delaga Harbour. So it was lots of scrambling, lots of back and forth, and of course I'm single-handing, so there was nobody here to actually assist me with any of the lines. Um, but all's well, I seem to have gotten her into a berth um, with the assistance of the, of the dock crew here at Delaga Harbour. So um, always great to have a, a bow thruster. Um, Paul, my boat neighbor on the marina, he yelled that I was cheating as I was using the bow thruster leaving Rubak, but you know, you do what you have to do. Ah, okay. So I decided to take a stab at, um, at cleaning the teak in the cockpit. It was really, really dirty. And I did not realize just exactly how dirty until I managed to get it all clean. Um, but before I show you the results of, um, of what it actually looked like, um, let me talk a little bit about the cleaning materials that I used. Um, I, I purchased this a while back. This is a sure hold uh, medium bristle, um, I think this is nylon um, deck brush. And um, it's got this telescoping handle, which um, is pretty nice. It allows you to extend it. This is also the same one I used to scrub the hull with yesterday. And of course, um, the handle pops out like most camping equipment does with this little pop-in um, switch right here which allows you to attach different heads and yesterday of course I had the one that um, has the soft little mitt for scrubbing or rather um, washing down the, the, the hull. Um, the other thing I used, um, somebody recommended that I actually use a little bit of mild detergent and um, online I saw a lot of people just use dishwashing liquid. I decided to use the same stuff as this biodegradable gel wash, tiny amount of it um, in my bucket um, as um, uh, for, for, for washing down the deck and then of course a little bit of seawater, I rinsed everything down in seawater afterwards so the basic step that I employed was um, um, a little bit of scrubbing, mechanical scrubbing with the, with the deck brush um, and fresh water, fresh water, just scrub, 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 get all the grime off and um, then I did a second time over with a mild soapy solution just to scrub out um, any residual um, dirt that might have been in there and uh, maybe pull up any sort of oils or chemicals that were in the, in the teak. And um, then the final step was to, um, just I grabbed uh, buckets of salt water from the, from the marina and just rinsed the whole lot off. And that was it. I, um, I, I then just left it to dry and the results were amazing. Um, I'll let you see for yourself.